Now, a KXY4 update for you tonight. The fate of a man accused of killing a Coeur d'Alene police sergeant now lies in the hands of a jury. Jonathan Renfro admitted killing Greg's, Sergeant Greg Moore in 2015, but it's up to the jury to decide if he did so deliberately or in self-defense. KXY4's Caroline Flynn working for you tonight. Caroline, the jury is done for the night, but they're not going home? That's right. They are sequestered, which means that they'll be staying at a hotel instead of going home and risking outside influence on their decision. They've ha heard weeks of testimony, but both the defense and the prosecution say today that it all comes down to the body camera footage that captured Sergeant Moore's death, what you see on it and what you don't. The prosecutor's advice to the jury as they set forth to deliberate was to trust their eyes. More specifically, what the state believes Sergeant Moore's body camera shows. A polite conversation between Sergeant Moore and Jonathan Renfro that turned deadly in a matter of seconds. After collecting Renfro's license, Officer Moore asks him to come over, turning ever so slightly. In slow motion, you see Renfro get close within a Foot of more. Renfro lifts his pocketed hand, which has a finger on the trigger above the gesturing hand. Sergeant Moore barely sees it coming. The state says the silence after the shooting speaks volumes. If you didn't mean to shoot him, wouldn't you panic? The fact that he ran and didn't provide aid drives that point home further. The defense went next. They say Renfro acted in self-defense. They claim what you didn't see in the footage was Sergeant Moore pulling his gun, arguing Renfro acted in self-defense. As for not providing aid to a dying Sergeant Moore, defense attorneys said first responders with military training couldn't save him. How could Renfro be expected to? The prosecution's answer to that? At least those first responders actually tried. Now, as I said, the jury has weeks of testimony and evidence to pour over. They'll be back here tomorrow morning and stay until 5 or until they reach a verdict. They have the decision between first-degree murder, second-degree murder, voluntary manslaughter, or not guilty altogether. Live outside of the Kootenai County Courthouse, Caroline Flynn, KXLY4 News. Caroline, thank you.